God. Well, let me talk to you today about the prophetic word for the month of November. Somebody say November. Okay, and of course, uh, if you are just logging on or if it's your first time uh, logging on to one of our broadcasts, uh, one of the things I love to do is prophesy into every new month. Some say new month. Some say new beginning. Some say new blessings. Amen. I love to prophesy uh, into the new month. And a good singer, Michael, blessings to you. I love to prophesy into the new month. And who here knows that the spirit of prophecy will always prevail over any other fake word or false word, false report. I declare right now, it is a season of miracles. It is a season of harvest. It is a season of breakthrough. It's not time for you to go into recession. It's time for you to go into revival. Come on, somebody. Someone say amen. It's time for signs and wonders to prevail like never before. Amen. So, uh, of course, uh, you know, and every month, I like to give you a historical perspective. I like to give you a Hebraic Judeo perspective. I like to give you a biblical perspective and then a prophetic perspective. Amen? Okay. So let me talk to you today about what to expect for the month of November. Someone say November. Okay. Um, I believe you and I, we need to expect heavy rain. And I'm telling you outpourings of the spirit in this month of november outpouring of provision outpouring of the holy ghost a refreshing something refreshing god's about to refresh you god's about to dunk you like dunkin donuts god is about to pour out his spirit there's going to be physical signs and manifestations of rain. Some would say rain. Come on, listen. I prophesy rain in California and Southern California to put out the fires of the uh, of Antifa and put out the fires of the enemy. God, we prophesy rain in the name of Jesus. So November is a month of rain. Expect heavy rain. I love in a story where the prophet Elijah said, I can see a cloud the size of a man's hand. Come on, somebody. Come on. And on the seventh time when the servant of the Lord climbed up the hill, the mountaintop, on the seventh time. Someone say seventh. Do you believe that this is a month of seventh heaven, of perfection? Seven means perfection. Seven means completion. This month, God is completing some things. I'm telling you, we're going to go to the word of God and the scriptures as well. But God is completing some things. God is finishing some things. God is perfecting some things. And on the seventh time, the servant of the Lord saw the cloud of the, the cloud of God, the cloud of glory beginning to rain provision beginning to rain and i'm telling you right now this is a month where the curse of drought is broken the drought is finished the drought is finished i declare a decree right now in america in the united states in uganda wherever you watch from in singapore and canada the drought is finished the spiritual drought is finished the 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 weather drought is finished. Robo Scott, your financial drought is finished. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone say amen. So this month of November is a month of heavy rain. It's a month of outpouring. Someone say amen. It's a month of rain and it's a month of outpouring. All right. Someone say amen. And we're going to go into the scriptures here. Okay. We're going to go into some, uh, we're going to go into some definition and we're going to go into some scriptures. If you're with me today, some say amen. Give me some hearts. Give me some likes. Some say amen. Shakarababata, Robo Bo Sandarabamande, Robo Ndarabamande, Robo Ndarabamanda. So, first and foremost, let's go into what month this is November. In the Hebrew calendar, this month is known as Mar Sheshvan. Someone say Mar Sheshvan, okay? We've already been in the Hebrew calendar Mar Sheshvan. Once again, remember, God moves on the earth. Not, not through the Gregorian calendar, through the Greek calendar, but he moves through the Hebraic calendar, okay, which is, which is what the Bible is surround, the Bible surrounds the Hebraic calendar, okay. So, um, right now we are in the Hebrew month of Mar Shishvan, some say Mar Shishvan, okay. We've already been in the Hebrew month of Mar Shishvan, and Mar Shishvan, uh, is a month right after Tishrei, and Tishrei, of course, has a lump sum of holidays, okay? Of course, there was Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the 10 days of awe, the Feast of Tabernacles. So Tishrei was just like a lump sum of festivals, a lump sum of feasts and festivals and, and parties. Come on, does anybody like to party like a rock star? So Tishrei, the last month, was just filled 
with uh, new beginnings. Of course, it was the first month in the new year. We're actually in the Hebrew calendar 5781. 5781 now. And you've seen some of my teachings on what to expect for 5781. So uh, you go ahead and watch that. All right. 5781 20, 5, 2021. All right. But um, so Tishrei, the last month, was filled with festivals the Feast of Tabernacles, 10 Days of All, the Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah. And it was just like <clears throat> a birthing and an explosion. So this month, Marshishvan is literally the only month in the whole Hebrew calendar where there's no holidays. There's no holidays. It's like there's there's almost nothing really special happening. But a lot of things have happened in this month of Marshishvat. Some say amen. And this is what I'm talking to you about today. This is what you can expect in this month of Marshishvat and in this month of November. Someone say amen. Okay. So Marshishvat Okay, um, Mar in the Hebrew, in the original word, stands for bitterness. Someone say bitterness, okay? Mar stands for bitterness, okay? And Mar stands for bitterness, and Mar can also stand for, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the bitter things, you know, in Passover, they would dip the bitter, uh, the bitter herb into the water. And so Mar stands for bitterness, and and in a sense, you know, uh, some people say that this is kind of a bitter month, okay? Um, however, many Jews actually drop the Mar and just call this month Sheshvan. So let me ask you, is it the month of Mar Sheshvan or the month of Sheshvan? Where the bitterness is dropped and the bitterness is turned into sweet. So don't say sweet, okay? So many people say that this is a month where... The bitterness is turning into sweet, where the bitterness is dropped, okay? And the bitterness is turning into sweet. Why is it known as the Mar or the month of bitterness? Because there's no holidays. Like I said earlier, it's almost kind of like uh, a bland, boring month after everything that happened in the last month of Tishrei, in the last month of October, okay? So, um... A lot of people say it's Mar, Mar Shishvan, but I declare right now that your bitter is turning into sweet. Someone say amen. Your bitter is turning into sweet. But let me tell you why in this month of Mar Shishvan or the month of Shishvan, why this month is so significant, so important. Okay. And you hear me now. Okay. Um, this month, um, in the original word, they believe it's also the month of Bull, B-U-L. Someone say bull, B-U-L. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why this is so important. B-U-L. The month of bull, B-U-L. 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 38. In the 11th month, in the 11th year, in the month of bull, the 8th month, the temple was finished in all its details according to its specifications. He had spent seven years building it. Now, this is talking about the Temple of Solomon. You hear me now, people of God. This is talking about the Temple of Solomon. And um, this month, Shishvan, or Bul, is the month when the temple was finished. Come on, who am I talking to? After seven years of building, seven years of tedious work, seven years of of building, of constructing, of gathering the saints and, and just building, building, building. This is the month where Solomon finished building the temple. I'm telling you, so in this month of November, we're going to see a lot of warfare finished. We're going to see your building projects finished. Come on, somebody. You're about to see a finishing. In this month of November, there is a finishing anointing. Shishfan, Mar Shishfan. You're about to finish the temple. Your building project. Things are coming to a closure. Things are coming to an end. Solomon finally finished building the temple after seven years in this month of Mar Shishfan, in this month of Bull, B-U-L, come on, no, don't give me that Bull now, come on somebody, but in this month of Bull, Mar Shishfan, Solomon finally finished the building project, and in this month of uh, November, God's about to finish some things, how do I know for sure? I'm telling you, President Trump is about to win, he's about to win the elections, and it is a finishing of the elections, 
Come on, somebody. It is a finishing of Antifa. It is a finishing of so many uh, antichrist agendas. It is a finishing of exposure. Uh, finishing of exposure of Hunter Biden. Of so many people in this corrupt swamp. Okay, it is a finishing. Some say finish. I'm telling you, let me prophesy right now. In this month of November, God is finishing projects. God is finishing the building project. God is finishing certain things in your life. In this month of November, he's releasing a finishing anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone say amen. Also, uh, so as Solomon finished building his temple, this is the month November. Sheshvan is the month that the Jews believe that the Messiah is going to appear in this month. They believe that this is the month where the third temple in Jerusalem and Israel will be built this month. And I'm going to go into some more biblical scripture to relate and to compare of that thesis or that hypothesis. Okay, The Jewish people believe that this month the third temple will be built. And I'm not saying this month in 2020, uh, but in this same month, that the third temple where the Mashiach, Jesus Yeshua, will fully return, the temple will be built, finally, and Jesus Yeshua will return. They believe in this month, Mar Shishvan. Okay, so I'm saying that. So, what... Oh, why do the Jews believe that this is a month where the third temple will be finished and the, and the Mashiach will return to the earth? Why do they believe that and have full dominion? Some say full dominion. He will have full dominion. Come on, somebody. Full dominion. Why do they believe that? Let, let's go to the scriptures here. Because in this month of Mar Shishfan or Shishfan, in this month of November, Sandarabo, if you're with me, give us some hearts and likes. In this month of of November this is the same month where the great flood took place in the days of Noah come on somebody in the days of Noah Genesis chapter 7 verse 10 Genesis 7 verse 10 if you're with me give me some hearts and likes Genesis 7 verse 10 Shoo. Genesis 7, verse 10. And after the seven days, come on, don't you see a common theme? Seven years, seven days. Earlier in the beginning, as we started, I talked about Elijah and his servant going up a seventh time. After seven days, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. In the hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, second month, which is right now, on the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened. Come on. Are you ready for the windows of the heavens to be opened? Are you ready for the depths? The Bible here says, come on, somebody. The Bible here says that the great deep burst forth, bursting, bursting up from the ground, which means that there's a shaking, there's an eruption, there's an explosion, there's a release of souls from the deep. Deep cries out of the deep. The deep things are exploding right now from the bottom. The, the ground is shaking and there's things happening and in the heavens of the earth. The windows of heaven are being poured out. The windows of heaven are being opened up. Robo Sakara. And the windows of heaven are being poured out. So this is the month where, where there was the flood of Noah. And I told you, in this month of November, expect heavy rain. In the natural and in the supernatural. Someone say amen. Someone say, I receive my heavy rain. Someone say, this is the season of my abundant rain. Somebody say, I can hear the sound of heavy rain coming to my neighborhood, coming to my family, coming to my city. Zoboko. Someone say, I, I can hear the floodgates of heaven opening up over my life. Someone say, amen. I can hear the crowds cheering and applauding because my president is about to win. Mega. Mega big victory. So this is the exact month Shishvan where Noah 
stood afloat. Come on, somebody. Noah stood afloat. So this is the month of the flooding. Some say flooding, which literally means dominion. Remember, nothing, nothing was left out. Everything was under the waters of God. Shoo! Are you ready for a flooding? Are you ready for an overtaking? Are you ready for the Holy Ghost to over-encompass you? For, for the Holy Ghost to overtake you? Are you ready in this month of November? For Jesus, my God, my King, in the month of Shishvan, in the month of November, for the temple to be finished, for your building projects to be finished, for a finishing anointing? Are you ready for the clouds of God to pour out like never before? Victory, victory, abundance, provision. Are you ready? Shandara. Someone say amen. So Shamba Baba. My gosh. So let me let me give you three prophetic points of what you can expect in this month of November. Are you with me today? Are you enjoying this so far? If you're enjoying this, give us some hearts, give us some likes, do share, and subscribe. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Benham Global. Let me give you three prophetic points of what you can expect. In this month of November, someone say amen. All right. In this month of November, expect rain. Okay, expect rain, and that also stands for resources. Okay, that also stands for harvest. In this month of November, there's going to be unusual provision. Someone say unusual provision. There's going to be new donors. There's going to be new partners. Someone say new partners. There's going to be funding. Remember, November is also the, in America. It's the month of Thanksgiving. Come on, somebody. It's the month of Thanksgiving. So in this month of November, there's harvest. There's abundance. There's a feasting. There's celebration. There's joy. And no, we, we destroy the spirit of rights and protesting. Okay? We put that to rest. And we declare praise, worship, open up California, open up D.C., New York, Jersey, open up America, open up in the name of Jesus. Open up our schools, open up our churches, open up our businesses. Amen. Open your mouth and declare and decree the word of God. So in this month of November, there's going to be rain. Someone say rain, okay, where there's going to be harvest. There's going to be provision. There's going to be unusual harvest. Someone say amen. I'm telling you this is a month where there's going to be supernatural supply to not only meet your needs, but to go over, above, and beyond. Someone say amen. The second prophetic point for you to expect in this month of November is reset. Someone say reset. Okay. This is a month where the building was finished. The temple was finished. After seven years of building, it was finished. Let me ask you, how long have you been in the trenches for? How long have you been experiencing this turmoil, this warfare? How long have you been in the wilderness for? It's coming to an end. The building has finished. Shoo! It's, the, it's a month. It's a time of reset. God is about to press the reset button. Come on, somebody. Remember, November is the 11th month in the Gregorian calendar. 11 in Hebrew stands for a transition, okay? 11 stands for transition, stands for double doors of blessings. God is opening up the windows of heaven. God is breaking you free, setting you free from the trenches of the earth. And God is releasing new beginnings. God is releasing transition. In this month of November, it's a month of reset. Someone say reset. Remember, this is also the month, same month, where the floods began in the days of Noah. But, but, one year later, this is when the flood subsided and Noah actually finally left the ark in the same month. One year later. Someone said one year later. This is the month where the doors were opened and Noah left the ark and finally set foot on new land. Come on, somebody. Isn't that good? The doors are opening. The doors of the ark are opening up for you. Shoo! Woo! <clears throat> the doors of congestion, the doors of confinement, the doors of quarantine are finally opening up for you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. It's opening up. And Noah finally stepped out and stepped foot on the new land, on a new life, new earth, new beginnings. That's what's going to happen this month of November. It's going to be reset. Someone say reset. Someone say, Jesus, reset me and my life in Jesus' name. 
Reset me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just need to pray right now. Shata kata ta kata ta ta. see the Lord resetting many of you right now. I see the Lord resetting and touching many of you right now. The Lord says in the month of October, some of you went through some warfare, some heartbreaks, some shocks, and surprises. But in this month of November, expect Thanksgiving, praise, harvest, and a reset. Expect heavy rain. Victory, victory, victory. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Some say amen. My gosh. And the last prophetic point you can expect for this month of November or Shishvan. Of course, Mar Shishvan. Mar means bitter bitterness. And some people call it Shishvan because the bitterness is being dropped and the bitterness is turning to sweet. Some say amen. In the month of November, this is the month for you to r rule, okay? Rule and reign. Someone say rule <clears throat> and reign. This is the month of November where you are going to rule and reign. Come on, somebody. You're about to rule and reign in this month of November, okay? In this month of November, as you have a clarity of your mind of a divine reset, in this month of November, you will rule and reign, have authority, take dominion. You will, wherever your feet step upon, God will give you the land. You will possess the gates of your enemies. You're about to rule and reign like never before in this month of Shishvan, in this month of November. Someone say amen. Just like when the waters flooded the whole earth. There was full dominion, which means that there was no other option. There was no other option. Fully took dominion and authority over the earth. That's going to happen in this month of November. What does that mean? You're going to rule in your sphere. You're going to rule in your atmosphere. I'm telling you, sudden promotion is coming to many of you. Sudden promotion, sudden blessings, upgrades, rulership. There's going to be an honor that's coming to you. Someone say honor. There's going to be an honor that's coming to you. Robo Scott, there's going to be double honor that's coming to you in this month of November. Shoo! Shoo! <clears throat> the drought is finished. God is looking for those Elijahs. Elishas. God is looking for those Noahs. Remember, Noah ruled and reigned. Him and his family. There was only uh, seven plus people. There was only a handful of people in the ark. Everybody else was destroyed by sin, was destroyed by the judgment of waters, of the flooding of the earth. But Noah and his family stood afloat. Come on, someone say amen. Someone say, that's me. Someone say, that's my family. Someone say, me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Someone say, my family will be safe from any plague, any pestilence, any COVID-19, 2021. We are afloat. We are above only and not beneath. <clears throat> Noah had authority over the floods. Noah ruled and reigned when everybody sunk and everybody else drowned. You will not, I declare right now. You are about to rule and reign in this month of November, just like Noah's family, just like the family of Noah. Noah, come on, somebody. Shoo! Thank you, Jesus. Woo! I hear
hear the Lord saying, I'm raising up my people to rule and reign. I'm raising up my people to celebrate. Celebrate, says the Lord. Celebrate. For victory is already yours. Victory is already yours. November is a month of victory and celebration and thanksgiving and harvest. You don't need to wait for November 3rd for your victory. My people will walk around with their chests open. My people will walk around with their heads held high. I see people <clears throat> walking around with dignity, with innocence, pride in the Lord, boasting in the Lord like, like, what's up, fool? Like people walking around like Superman, like they're immutable, like they're immune, they're immortal. Like there's going to be this sense, this idea upon people in this month of November, Shishvan, like we made it, we did it, we finished it. Praise God. Get ready for season two of Not My President again. And there's just going to be like this, like, da -da -da -da, like, man, my buttons are about to pop. There's going to be like this, you know, like, Praise God. Like, we made the flood. We f we made it through. Wow. I, I see it in the spirit. My gosh. In this month of November, there's, there's going to be... God's going to just... Wow. He's laughing at his enemies. <laughs> you know, the book of Colossians says that he made a public spectacle of his enemies. He made a public spectacle of death of, of the devil and of his enemies. <laughs> He put on a public show. It was a comedy. It was a comedic SNL Saturday Night Live show. It was a comedy where we laughed at the enemy at the show. And we're like, ha, ha, ha. Hilarious. Couldn't hold it back. <laughs> wow. Shoo. This is a month of ruling and reigning, people of God. Wow. Shoo. Well, I feel this right now. Somebody in the spirit, because I'm feeling my my own my own body right now. Somebody, you're having digestion problems. Your stomach is is in pain right now. I speak healing right now in Jesus' name. Be delivered, fire, power. Be delivered right now by the power of God. <clears throat> this is the month where God's about to deliver you from the waters of bitterness, from the waters of Leviathan, of every false evil marine spirit Shoo, this is a month where god is delivering you from the kool-aid and he's giving you trump water be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus four more years baby Bam, bam, bam. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning. <clears throat> People of God, I want to pray for you right now. So I'm saying, man, I want to pray for you right now. God, I pray for a divine reset. If you're saying, Pastor Ben, this bears witness with my spirit. I feel the heavy rains of God. Come on, I can see the clouds. I can hear the rain. I can literally smell the dew, the moistness of heaven from a from a mile. I could smell it. I could smell victory from a mile away. I could smell victory. I could hear the angels clapping from, from heavens above. I could see it. This is a month of of rain someone say heavy rain this is a month of resources of harvest of abundance amen i'm telling you rain 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 we saw yesterday all right uh the stock market has increased 33 percent even in midst of most of america not even working right now even in midst of most of america still being shut down and locked down by these evil demon crap mayors and governors Still, we're seeing a boom of the economy. Someone say, boom! 33 plus percent. Come on, people of God. I'm telling you, even in this fourth quarter, we're going to see 20 plus percent. I, I just saw in the spirit 40 percent. I prophesy in the fourth quarter of 2020, we're going to see 40 percent increase in the economy and the stock market. In Jesus name. Someone say, amen. I just saw 40 percent in the spirit. I saw that. My gosh. Some say bam, some say boom, some say boomerang. 
a full boomerang effect in Jesus' name. And as, as the boomerang returns, it's going to cut off the head of corrupt politicians, cut off the head of Leviathan and Jezebel, cut off the head of all of these people. And I'm telling you, Clinton, Hillary Clinton, is going to prison. There's going to be indictments. People are going to get locked up. I'm, there's going to be full exposure happening. I'm telling you. Amen. Praise God. So in this month of November, expect rain, expect a reset, some say reset. And the third thing, expect in your life, in this month of November, expect the authority to rule and reign. You're, you're above and not beneath. Amen. It's, it's a season of victory. So say amen. Let me pray with you right now, people of God. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. And thank you for watching today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Benlam Global. Keep me in prayers as I'm here in D.C. for the next few days. Praise God. And uh, I can't wait to be with y'all back in Anaheim, Open Heavens, uh, on Sunday. Okay, I will be back on Sunday. But bless you, love you, thank you for everything. Listen, if you want to grow deeper in one-on-one -on -one mentoring with myself or with our group mentorship, join our 7M Glory Equip, okay? There is a small monthly subscription fee, but it helps to run the ministry, and you're going to be blessed. I'm, I, I really want to help disciple and mentor you, not just teach you and not just give you teaching and information like you can on the internet, but we really want to grow a family, healthy relationships in Jesus' name. Amen? Shoo! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, I just saw right now, even even in the month of November, December, we're going to see a shift in Asia. Some say Asia. I saw something happening in Korea, and I saw something happening in China. All right, we're, we're going to see a shift happen in, in Korea, North Korea, and also in China in this month of November to December. <clears throat> As President Trump wins, um, we're going to see a shift in Asia. So I just saw that in the next two months. So pray for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, I pray. And remember, listen, people are flying in and driving in from everywhere to come to our seven-day crusade. November 9th to the 15th, the Festival of Miracles with Evangelist Ankit Ram Babu. Listen, so many churches have closed down. They're not even opening you need to drive. Come. Come into glory. I'm telling you, so many people are coming, driving, flying in for this. It's going to be an incredible, phenomenal, life-changing event. I'm telling you. So come. I invite you. Really, really, seriously. Please, hear these words. Come, come, come. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. Father, I pray for my friends watching. That November, Shishvan, Mar Shishvan, will be a month of sweetness, will be a month of reset, rain, abundance, heavy rain. Come on, somebody, put out the fires in California. I hear God saying, I'm about to put out fires in Jesus' name. I'm about to put out that drama. I'm about to put out that Nancy Pelosi. I'm about to put out these nonsense government bands. I'm about to put it out in Jesus' name. And, and expect rain. And, and God is about to open up the floodgates of heaven. And even as Noah finally exited the ark in this month of Shishvan, you're about to exit. Someone say Blexit. Someone say Lexit. Someone say Alexit. Asian left exit. You're about to finally exit the ark. The, uh, the 40 days of turmoil of being tossed to and fro in the ark in the waters of tumultuous terrain and you're about to exit and you're about to set your feet on new land new land new beginnings it's a month of reset it's a month of refreshing it's a month of clarity it's a month of harvest it's a month of new beginnings i release that over your life in the name of jesus i bless you i release the favor the power the grace of god over your life in the name of jesus in this month of november give thanks praise god because victory is here landslides of victory in the name of Jesus. So I'm saying amen. Thank you everybody for watching. I love you. This is Pastor Ben Lim from DC at the Trump Hotel here on October 30th. And remember, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, even in the midst of Halloween and these people trying to conjure up seances and curses against President Trump and against the church, we rebuke it. We bind it. Fire of God. <laughs> I just heard witches screaming in the spirit, honestly. And you know, there's so many, so many Masons and Covens and, you know, all around me here in D.C. You know that, right? 
But I just I just heard witches screaming in the spirit. My gosh, I feel like I'm going to have a, a Holy Ghost encounter here in D.C. in the next few days. <laughs> this is Pastor Ben Lim. Blessings to you. Happy Sheshvan. Happy November. Amen. God bless you. God bless America.